Step out of Maurice. I've got a plane to catch. An hour is a very long time, isn't it, darling? Well, the way I figure it, honey, it'll give me the right amount of time to say the proper au revoir to my bride to be. In private. So how you figure they're gonna say au revoir back there? Never you mind. There's two things you gotta worry about. Our plan and the road. Plan and the road. Drop Ace off at the airport and he can drive off with Alex. She's ours, all ours. <laughs> so, uh, do you visit all of your friends at this time of evening, Court? Well, somebody told me I should be more spontaneous, so uh, here I am. But if you want me to leave. Oh, no, 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 stay. I, I, let me just put some clothes on. No, 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 you don't need to do that. I mean, not for me. Because uh, I like you kind of just the way you are. Rebecca, if you know it was Todd, darling, you have to tell the police. Because we know what kind of violence Todd Manning is capable of. I'm not letting you no. Todd! Todd! Please! No way. We're not through here. You're not going anywhere. Dylan seemed to think that you knew who tried to rape you. Maybe you need to face facts, darling. The only thing that Todd knows how to do is hurt people. You believe me? You always have. Yes, I have. I guess that's why you're the only person that really matters to me. Honey, what do you say? Shall we call the police? This belonged to Todd Manning. C.J. Roberts gave him this. Maybe it fell out of his pocket after he attacked Rebecca. Bo? Hmm? You said Rebecca was shaken up a bit. Was she cut at all? No. Maybe she cut him when they were in struggling. Yeah, but at least now we're going to have strong physical evidence that can place Todd right here in this park. We still need Rebecca to ID him. Well, maybe y'all can try, because I've tried and I can't get through to her. But, uh, y'all mind if I go back to Luna's? Because I need to explain to Marty why I left so abruptly. No, you go ahead and do that. Hey, Dylan, thanks for everything tonight, too. You did the right thing. Well, I hope you catch him. So long. Thank you. Now what? Well, the first thing, I'm going to get forensics out here to run a test on that. And I'm going to send some people over to Manning to see if they can uh, get through to him. And I'm going to see Rebecca Lewis. Well, I'm coming with you. No, no, honey. What? Since when do you come along on official police visits? Number one. Number two. Wait a second. I probably am the only one that can get through to her, you know? You know how much her first instinct will be to protect Todd Manning. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. Even Rebecca Lewis is going to help us nail Todd Manning now. Right? Yeah. Oh, uh, may I go see the bedrooms? <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, she's right. It's, uh, the house, it's perfect for you. 
Um, I think I'll go put some water on for tea. No, thank you, Marty. I, 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 don't, I really don't want any tea. Maybe Cassie, you'd like some? Sure, yes. You can ask her when she comes down. It's... Um, have a seat. <clears throat> you know, I, I really think it's appropriate that I moved into this new place, considering everything else in my life is, um, changing. Helps me, uh, well, put my past into perspective. Right. Well, Behind me. Lots of time to make plans for the future. Yeah, lots of plans. I'm, um, applying to med school. It's great. So, yeah, yeah, so I need a place to study, you know, oh, a place where I won't get bothered. Right, sure, it's great. No, it's, it's, I think it's great. I mean that. I'm not just saying that. I mean, you know that I care. I... It, it's really important for me to, right now to, um... Get past the self-destructive, you know, the old feelings that I have. <sighs> you know, I need to put them behind me. Everyone does. Andrew, come see this. Why don't you go um, look around with Cass and I'll put the water on. Andrew! I'm coming. I was about to uh, make a souffle. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, what is so funny? Is that what you do every night after midnight? Go into the kitchen and whip up a souffle? Uh, I I'm sorry. I guess it just never occurred to me that you even knew how to cook. Court, I am not totally without domestic skill. Uh. Uh, not completely. I, I do have some virtues, and others I am trying to cultivate. Oh, I see. Have a seat. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Tell me, why did you come here? I already told you. I'm a spontaneous kind of guy. Come on. All right, I came by because, because uh, I wanted to see how you were doing and what you were wearing. You, you're, you just admit it, that, that, uh, um, you felt sorry for me because you heard that Tina unloaded on me. I will admit that I wanted to be the one to break the news to you about Max and Luna renewing their vows, not Tina. Yep. But I didn't come because I felt sorry for you. I did feel a little worried. Well, I have to admit that it was hard hearing that news, and I guess old feelings die hard, but I am learning. Learning what? That reality is all right once you resign yourself to it and even embrace it. Well, then I think you're ahead of the game, because a lot of people spend their whole lives trying to learn just that. Hmm. Well, I had some help tonight. Hmm? I ran into Todd Manning over at the park. What? This evening. But look, I know he's not your ideal guide, but he did help me. I'll be the first to admit that Todd does have his good points, but he's also suspected of a string of rapes, Blair. I mean, I don't think it's a good idea for you to be hanging around with him what? just now. Look, I just ran into him in the park, that's all. I'm not, you know... Do me a favor, right? Just promise me that until this whole thing is resolved, that you won't put yourself in that position again. Please. What do you want? Hiya, Todd. Well, yes, yes, we would like to come in. Thank you very much. Where were you tonight, Todd? I was here. I went to see a friend at the hospital. Look, I didn't rape any nurses in any hospital parking lots, if that's what you hear about. Where'd you go after the hospital? 
I don't know. I, uh, I went to the park, and I came back here. What time are you in the park? I don't know. Look, what, what's this all about? There was another rape, wasn't there? Gee, Todd, I don't know. Why don't you tell us? Whatever the truth is, you've got to tell it. Oh, excuse me, honey. Coming! Laura, Bo. Hello, Renee. Would you mind if we came in? No, no, of course not. Thank you. Just give us a minute, okay? Hi, Rebecca. Hi. I'd like to ask you a few questions, Rebecca. Is that okay? Is it okay if Nora stays here, too? Dylan Moody told us that he saw a man in a ski mask attack you in the park tonight. Is that true? Yes. Can you tell me a little more about that? Someone grabbed me and, um, and then Dylan scared him off. Uh, that's all. There's more, right? No. I said no. That's all. Well, that's okay. No problem. Really, we have a lot of time. And I'm not leaving here until you tell me the whole story. Now, what are they doing back there? Not much, I reckon. Old Lace's motor been running too well lately. The only thing she's keeping up is his spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Think how much happier she's going to be with us. Yeah. <laughs> so where is this little surprise locale for our wedding, sweetie? Well, like I told you, it is a surprise. I don't really know it's a surprise. It's just that... Grand Canyon? <laughs> Gobi Desert? I promise you... It's just going to be as big as your spirit of adventure. <laughs> oh, God. I do love you. How much? More than you can ever imagine. Show me again. Here? Alex, you shocked me. I mean, I, I'm very shocked. No, you're not. <laughs> That's where I want to put the garden. I'm going to put a line of rocks beside the uh, river, and then the garden's going to come all the way up to the side of the house. Oh, things are really turning around for you. <laughs> yeah. Except uh, <clears throat> you didn't make it back to Max and Luna's party. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Dylan got there late, and then um, I took off with Bo and Nora. Yeah, and I'm sure that there's a very good explanation. But meanwhile, I want details, because all I know about Dylan is that he's Luna's brother, and he is so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Andrew, sweetheart, we got to help her get the door here. It's too late right. for her to be answering it by herself. We were just wondering where you were tonight. Yeah, Darlene told me where you were. Um, I wanted to come over. I didn't know you had company. No, no, actually, um, we were just leaving, so you can come on in and explain everything to Marty when we're gone. <laughs> right, so thank you for the tour. It's a beautiful house. <laughs> yeah, it, it's nice to see you again, Dylan, and, and I hope that you and Marty could come and have dinner with us sometime so soon. Thank you. Yeah, bye. 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 See you. I don't get it. 
you uh, made a big deal about this date we had tonight and then took off. Yeah, um, on my way over to Max and Darlene's, um, I cut through Crawford Park and there was a guy there with a ski mask on attacking a woman. The rapist? Yeah, it looks that way. Um, I drove him off, but I heard the woman say a man's name. She knew him? Yeah, the woman was Rebecca Lewis. Oh, and, my God. Uh, Marty, the name she called out was, was Todd's. I got my wrist x-rayed at the hospital. And then I cut through the park and someone grabbed me and, um... I fought him. I tried to get away. And then Dylan Moody scared him off. That's all I know. This happened in the park? Is this what happened when the guy attacked you? Is this your blood, Rebecca? Or did you draw blood uh, when you were fighting the guy off? No. Okay, that's no problem. We'll no, have no, a test. No, um, that, that anyway. didn't happen uh, in the park. That happened before. Oh? Todd and I got into an argument at the hospital. Darling, did he hurt you? No, no. He hit his wrist, his hand, he hit into a wall. He punched the wall? He was bleeding. He hurt himself, and then he... He just grabbed my arm, but that's all that happened. Did he hurt you? Look, that, that has nothing to do with what happened in the park. Has he hurt you before? Uh. Rebecca, how did you really hurt your wrist? Listen to me. You've been protecting Todd. You've been aiding and abetting him since I can remember. Easy, boo. No, Easy. I am tired of this. I want the truth, Rebecca, and I want it now. Oh, it should be good. Whoa, wait, watch that step. <laughs> Cord. What? You're gonna make the souffle fall. Oh, Shh. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Listen to, I'm sorry about uh, being overprotective about Todd a little earlier. Uh, Dean always used to tell me that I had too much Boy Scout in me. Well, that's one of the things that I like about you most. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And it's, it's totally real with you. I mean, it comes naturally. You've got a lot of heart and, and warmth. Thank you. I could get used to that. Yeah. Okay, okay. so now you know... <laughs> Now you know one of the reasons I, I, I like you, but, but the question is here, what could you possibly, or what reasons could you find for, for liking me? I mean, and I'm not fishing here, Corey, because you have seen me at my rock bottom, absolute total worst. Yet, you're, you're here. What's not to like? I know that you're a great cook. You know how to whip up a souffle. You're smart. You're funny. You're beautiful. You're devious as all get out. But you're also incredibly honest about yourself. Who you are and what you want. I find that very attractive. I know you can do whatever you want to once you set your mind to it. And I also know that you can be very passionate. Now what makes you th think that? Well, actually, that's more of an educated guess. You want to find out for sure? Why don't you ask Blair Daimler? That's who I was with in the park tonight. What time were you in the park with Blair Daimler? Look, why are you bothering to ask me all these questions? I mean, no matter what I tell you, you're not going to believe me. That's so. Yeah, you got it, babe. You guys wouldn't know the truth if it jumped up and bit you in the badge. 
Wow, this one's a little paranoid, isn't he? Look, I told you, someone's trying to set me up. I got the guy, okay? I grabbed him. I got a ski mask. I brought it to Bo Buchanan, but he didn't believe me either. And now, there's another rape in here. You guys are with your thumbs up your noses when you ought to be out there doing your job. that's enough. Forget about your conspiracy theories, all right? Just tell us what went on tonight between you and Rebecca Lewis. Rebecca, you leave her out of this. Oh, that could be a little difficult, seeing how she's the victim. In the park. But Bo is just trying to find out the truth, darling. No, no, I know what he wants me to say. And I won't say it because I'm not trying to protect anybody. Nothing happened. I... Someone tried to rape me in the park. But n nothing happened. Dylan came by and scared him off. That's all. That's not all, is it? You see, you forget that it, it's happened to me. Todd tried to rape me. Yeah, he didn't succeed, but he did try. Why are you trying to talk to me about Todd? Because isn't that who attacked you in the park? Isn't that why Dylan Moody said he heard you calling Todd's name? I don't know why I was calling Todd's name. I, I, I was confused. <sighs> Do you know what this is? It belongs to Todd. C.J. Roberts gave it to him. This was found at the scene. You said Todd cut his hand. Bloody fingerprints were found on a park bench there. Now, it's just a, a simple um, forensic procedure to trace all that right back to Todd. We have witnesses that can place him in the park. And only you can give us a time. Do you still think you can protect him, Rebecca? Darling, tell us who attacked you in the park. It was... I gotta go. Oh, oh, yeah? Look, I gotta go. If you don't have a warrant or some kind of piece of paper, then I'm going. It's not that simple. Look, you can't tell me that where Rebecca was raped and then just expect me not to do anything. Hold on there, macho man. She wasn't raped. You just told me she was the victim. It was an attempted rape. Yeah, as if he didn't know that. So she's okay. Someone chased the guy oh, off. Oh, Harrison, what's this freedom of information policy? Hey, listen, if you had so believed not... me in the first place, none of this would have happened. You must have followed her when she left the hospital. You know, I told you there was a lunatic out there, but you guys were so hot. Forget about it. I gotta go. Get out of my way! You're not listening, man. You're never going anywhere near Rebecca Lewis ever again. We had a horrible argument. You and Todd. And I told him that I couldn't, that I... I couldn't love him, and anyway, he, he, I left, and he followed me to the hospital. Did the argument continue there? Mm -hmm. I called him a monster. Anyway, he, he got angry, and he punched the wall, and... It's like he just snapped, because he had been changing. He, he was changing. I know it seemed that way to you, Rebecca. No, but you don't understand. No, because he was getting help, he was getting better, and he really wanted to do the right thing, but... I felt the same way. I did everything I possibly could to give him the benefit of the doubt. The fact is, he never changed, Rebecca. He's the same guy that kidnapped you when he needed a hostage. He's the same guy that incited a gang rape at the K.A.D. fraternity house. Officer Evans is waiting outside. Can I bring her in to get your statement? No. I always knew that Todd had done a lot of terrible things. 
I just never thought he'd hurt me. The souffle. Yes. Yeah. Gordon. Souffle, yeah. If, it, if, it, if it overheats, it'll deflate. Oh. No, you don't say that. Don't oh. say that. No, no, no you can't say that. Gordy, it, it'll burn. Listen, if you leave right now, I'm gonna die. I'll just be dead right here when you oh, come back. Oh, no. You are not gonna die. Trust me. No, oh, no, you're not gonna die. I won't, I won't let that happen. And I will. Um, uh, I'll be right back. The play. Oh, in her voice. Oh, gotcha. I, I thought you told me his motor wasn't going to be running too good. Sounds like he's running a high oh, octane. Do you Ow. mind? Do you mind? <sighs> Frankly, I find it repugnant. Oh, yeah, well, gotcha. It's going to stop pretty oh. soon because we're at the airport and then Alex is going to be with us. boy, son. You think positive. Future. Alex. Maurice! Why have we stopped? <coughs> Airport, sir. <coughs> Who cares? Drive on! But honey, you'll miss your plane. Who cares about business? This comes first. Let her roll! <laughs> well, what do we do now? You heard the little stud muffin. Let her roll. Thank you, Miss Lewis. I'll get back to the station and get the paperwork going. Okay, I'll see you back there soon. All right. Finally. We have an ID directly from the victim. I've been waiting for this since Alice Henson was raped in that hospital parking lot. What's next? Hmm? Well, there's something I have to take care of solo. Okay? Okay, no. I don't think so. Hey, listen. Thanks for your help. You done really great. Where are you going? Business. It's business. Go home and try to get some sleep, all right? Oh, is that a joke? I'm too wired to sleep. Maybe I'll go to my office and finish some unfinished business. You work too hard, you know. Oh, now coming from you, that is a joke. <laughs> Darling, what you did was very important for the investigation. It's going to be of tremendous help to them. I just don't know. You did the right thing. Please, please don't second guess yourself about this. You did what was right and responsible. Even I never thought that Todd would do anything like that to Rebecca. I can't stand to think what would have happened if you hadn't gotten there. Well, I got there, so I don't guess we have to worry about that. Are you okay? Sure. Yeah, right. It's just a, man, I almost went nuts when I saw that guy. It just, I don't, just brought back some old memories, I guess. I don't. What do you mean? Let's just say that if I'd have caught up with the guy, I definitely would have made him pay for what he did to you. 
people and why do you feel so strongly? It's nice to know you care. I care a lot. But, um, it's late, so I'll let you get some sleep. Actually, I want to go see Rebecca. I uh, called her a fool for believing in Todd so long, and I meant it, but she must be in hell right now. Fine, I'll go with you. All right, thanks. I'd like that. Marty, don't worry. They're going to get Manning this time, and he's going to be out of your life forever. Covers are having someone else do it for me. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> are those your feet? Cold huh? feet, warm heart. Uh, I don't mm. think that's exactly the way it goes. And... <laughs> but if there was a test case, yes. got the warmest heart of anybody I know. No, you do. No, you do. No, you do. Do not. Hmm. <laughs> It was a nice night, wasn't it? Mm. It was wonderful. I don't remember the last time I was able to think about anything other than River and Vicky and Sloan. <laughs> God for River showing us that not everything in life is grim and dreary. Yes. Our friends are just going on with their lives. They're moving and they're changing yeah, and growing. Max and Luna. Marty. Getting on with their life, finally. Hey, Dylan seems like a really nice guy, doesn't he? Yeah. They look so good together. What do you say we think a little less about the world, a little bit more about ourselves, huh? I'm sorry, who? Who? Oh, yes, well, of course, you know Andrew and Cassie Carpenter. You remember them? They have a son, and they live in the rectory at St. James. And Don't you remember? Well, maybe you haven't seen them in a while. They spend a lot of time wrapped up with their family and their friends. And... Oh, that yeah. Cassie and Andrew yeah, Carpenter. Right, right. I know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, or at least I used to it. Well, maybe you need to be reminded a little bit about Andrew Carpenter's more endearing and compelling qualities. Hmm? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Uh, How long are they gonna go on like that? Yep. <sighs> Gotta have the old geezer, huh? He got some kind of stamina. Did you shut up? One of these days, someone's gonna throw some water on him. They'll come unstuck. Then she'll be alone. We'll try again. Okay, Maurice, drive us on home. Put the pedal to the metal. An inventive way to spend the evening. Well, nothing to say. We can't drive around tomorrow, too. No, tomorrow I have to get ready for the wedding and I have a fitting. Oh, so I'll just wait and. No, you won't either. It's bad luck. I'm going to be at Logan's all day trying on wedding dresses. Maurice, cancel taking us home. Just keep driving. Well, where to, sir? <clears throat> Any long, stretchy road. That's mighty bumpy. Great. We're gonna have to listen to this all night long. Tune it out. Just shut it off. Our next opportunity just presented itself and said, howdy do. What do you mean? Tomorrow she's gonna be at Logan's and she's gonna be alone. We'll try again there. Poor Alex. She's not going to get a chance to wear that wedding gown. <laughs> I should have beaten the egg whites longer. Could be. I, Could be. I guess I just didn't have the patience, I guess. Well, you know, I, I really wasn't that hungry anyway. <laughs> Could I work so hard on this? Oh, I know. And, and I appreciate it. I, I truly do appreciate it. Um, where exactly were we before the buzz went off? Well, I believe that I was, um... Yeah? <laughs> mm-hmm. I believe that I was, like, 
right over here. Oh, right, right. It's all and, coming and I think back to me now. That that you were like yeah, yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. I think so. That's right. Yeah. Feel good, yeah. right? Yeah, feel this, right. This feels right. Okay. Court. Mm. What? I am. Um, I really. I really would like for you to to, to stay tonight. Mm. That sounds good. That sounds real good. And I I really wanna wanna make love to you. See, this is getting better all the time. Oh, but I can't. I, I'm. I can't. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't. You, you're the one that, that told me to be patient and, and cautious. I said that? Yes. I'm an idiot. Everybody knows that. Nobody ever listens to me. Court, I, I, was, I was listening. I was listening. You were, huh? Yeah, and... Uh, well, I, I just think that it's best so I don't repeat my mistakes in the past, you know, like... Um, rushing. What, what's the matter? I, I thought I thought that you would approve of my new and improved virtuous thinking. Well, I, I do. I do. I do. I, uh... Then everything's all right, then, right? That might be pushing it just uh, a little bit. Corey. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Be patient. Uh huh. Because rumor has it that um, good things come to them. What waits? Well, that's very true. That's very true. Uh, good things do come. To them, what waits? What in God's name are you doing here? Well, I'd been waiting to hear from you. So when I didn't, I decided it was time for the mountain to visit Muhammad. How did you know I'd be here? Well, I'd been looking for you. Then I remembered what a hopeless workaholic you are. So I figured sooner or later you'd turn up here. You see, I know you very well. No, you don't. So. You wanted to see me? I hope I never see him again. I hope I never hear from him. I don't want to know that he exists anymore. Rebecca, let it go. I had faith in him. I believed in him when nobody else would, and they told me that I shouldn't. I was positive that he didn't rape those nurses. I thought I understood him better than anyone else. I was going to help him. I was going to help Todd. How could I have been so stupid? You got to take me to her. Let me see Rebecca. Not a chance in this world. You really think that I would ever hurt her? You think I raped her? You guys are psycho. Oh, that's a switch. Yeah, the inmate calling the asylum wacko. I would never hurt Rebecca. Never. Well, you gotta take me to her, okay? Take me to Rebecca. Let me talk to her. She'll tell you, all right? She'll speak up for me. She knows me. Oh, yeah, she knows you. We all know you, Todd. That's why we're gonna be glad to see you go. Go where? Manning, you're under arrest for the attempted rape of Rebecca Lewis. Fourteen ninety-five.